Hey family, I want to tell you about a new book written by John Almo and Patty Almo. It's called Introduction to Twee for American Diasporas. Now, the book is going to focus on helping you learn the Akan language, culture, and Ghana as a country. It's also a guide uh, through Ghana's most widely spoken language. Now, the book is supposed to help develop your awareness of social customs, cultural practices, uh, by combining historical, cultural, and social uh, context with language training and grammar. Uh, this is the book that you want to pick up um, before you start heading for your first trip to Ghana. Pick up Introduction to Twee for American Diasporas today. She grew up watching her mom on TV and she didn't even know that's her biological mom. Wow. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News channel. I am Ongilza Lalem bringing you the story. Like this video, please. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get into it. So I found this story about this woman. She's no longer a young lady. She's in her 50s, I believe. And she met her mom at this age because of her son wanting to see uh, his mom's DNA test because he was curious of her roots because she was adopted. Let me first tell you the story and how it went. But the crazy thing is she, during her childhood, she grew up watching her mom and she didn't even know that's her mom. This girl got pregnant at the age of 18, so she could not provide for the baby, she could not raise it, and she was going to Hollywood to pursue a career, so she gave it up for adoption. And the adoption was closed, so nobody contacted the other person. And this lady is actually a famous actress. Her name is Lynn Moody. I know her from Roots. She was, I believe, Kunta Kinte's love interest, but um, she's known for her role. It's a show during the 70s. It's called That's My Mama. <laughs> and it's ironic, right? This girl was sitting down watching her mama on a show called That's My Mama and that's her actual mother. Anyways, um, so she gives the baby away and she talks about how sad she was and how devastating it was for her to do, but she saw no other option. So she gave the baby away. The baby was raised with a family they took her in they loved her they told her that she said they told her that it's like your mom didn't give you up because you were not wanted it's because this was what what was best for you and they sound like great people they raised her well and um so that's how she was adopted and she said the show that's my mama that, that was like a must see in the house everybody will get together and watch that show and that's her mom acting on that show. Um, she doesn't know, but she watches it. She enjoyed it. And she grew up, she said, I was okay not knowing my mom and going to the grave without meeting my biological mom. Because I guess the parents that adopted her were really good people to her. So she didn't feel the need or felt the void inside. So she was happy with the way she is. But her son, <laughs> after she grew up and had a child and everything and had her own life, her son was really interested um, to find her DNA, where she comes from and stuff because she was adopted. So she was like, okay. And she lets him take um, that test and it comes out, it shows her that you have an uncle. So she's like, okay, let me try it out. Let me contact that person. And she did. And the guy was like, okay, come, let's meet. And they meet and they talk. And he said right away, he knew whose child she was because she told him when she was born and how she was given away. And he's like, that's my sister. That is Lynn. So she was shocked. You can only imagine the person you watched on TV growing up is your biological mother. So anyway, she gets a call from her mom, her biological mom, and she tells her that like, you know, I didn't give, a, give you away out of, you know, uh, luxury or anything. It's a necessity and stuff. So they bond and the rest is history. Now they're mom and daughter and they look happy. They are happy. And we love to see it because this woman would have been okay with not meeting her mom and going to the grave but the fact that she met her and it's actually that lady that she watched growing up in a way she raised her not not literally but in a way she does she did influence her and she saw her mom she just didn't know it was her mom but anyways i found this story to be interesting and crazy and the irony of it all that's my mama is the show and this girl was watching the show and that was her biological mother 
you cannot make this up anyways guys do let us know down below what your thoughts are about this story how um, this famous actress and her daughter got together because of the grandson wanting to know where his mom comes from and stuff anyways guys i want gives a lalam bringing you the story i will see you on the next one bye the economy and job market are picking up quickly. If you're a job seeker looking to advance your career, or if you're an entrepreneur looking to start or expand your business, brightpathsearch.com has the resources to assist you. For job seekers at any stage, brightpathsearch.com can perfect your resume and cover letter, help you prepare for your interview, and offer leads for networking. For entrepreneurs, brightpathsearch.com can help you get access to government contracts or even help you start your business. There is no need to go at it alone. For a free consultation for job seekers or small business services, email j at brightpathsearch.com or visit the website www.brightpathsearch.com. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and download the African Diaspora News Channel app now available on Google Play and the Apple App Store.